Welcome back to my Let's Play for Magical Star Sign. Now let's get the show on the road and get to the end of the Dragon's Road. Good, it's nighttime now, but. Sorry. I'm pretty sure this enemy has to be kicked in submission. Ice coated enemies, huh? Did a critical hit there or something? Ah, a pirate. Har, your mother has a peg brain. I'm guessing he's talking about our mother. You insulted our mother? Well, we're gonna have to make you pay. Darn it. Bit early there. Um. <sighs> Too late. Finally got timed right. Eat rock and die. I'll take the shell though. Ah, more enemies in ice. I guess most of these enemies you have to just kick in the submission. Maybe it's the result of them being frozen, I don't know. That wasn't a kick, it looked like she hit him with their ears. I thought I smelled some trouble coming me way, trying to break into our secret hideout, are ya? Ye, I guess maybe I should have said. Oh well. Too early. I'm having a real hard time getting my timing down right now. Uh, level up over there. What though? We've been attacked by an enemy that isn't frozen? Jeez. 
Well, I think we can take it as very obvious that T-800 is not very good at magic. Uh, let's see. Come on, keep moving. It's almost daytime. Oh, it is daytime now. Eat blades of wind. Die. I have to admit, fighting enemies that can't fight back is pretty boring. Oh wow, they got level ups, huh? <sighs> Strangers are fast. I'll chuck you into the briny depths like a barnacle encrusted anchor. Knock him out. Without the advantage of being nighttime, I guess we didn't have enough power. Ooh, another rainbow shell. Gar, you kids be giving me a skull cramp. Heart up, Hank. Bilge bucket bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna mop the poop deck with your head. That was pretty morbid. Well, that might be enough to kill him. Nope. Yet, even if I get this one right as well, we're still not going to be able to kill him. Well, at least I'm starting to get into the zone on the clicks, so... At least that's something. Jeez, T-800, you're just too slow.
what the? Here to buy goods or is it info you're after? What can I tell you about? Sometimes you can hide rainbow shells on Dragon Road. If you see any, grab them. Verify yourself on Grand. Keep an eye out for Tropica. Just outside the village, you'll find a big jungle. Anyway, if you just muck around out there, you'll find a ton of walkie. Wakey tails, all over the place, so grab them. Bye, bye, bye. So, what do we have to buy? Jeez, well, what's the effect of the wakey tail? Come on. I'm going to assume it's a high cost revive item then. Uh, don't have anything of interest to me. Uh, a fridge cap. With this, we should be able to start spamming Shadow Die without any concern. The cost, because we'll have higher max MP. Good. What the? Is that frozen or is it an ice monster? Frozen. Oh. Okay, not frozen. Literally an ice monster. At least it's slow, I guess. As much as a comfort as that can be. Oh, crap. Attack was too early. No, Teef Tim. Him down here ain't easy. He must not have bills for brains. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, Mumya Squisha. Good, good, good. I'm guessing that's meant to be a laugh. 
Okay, otters. Let's see how you square up. I got him anyway. And T-800 gets another level up. Will he finally be fast enough to start being useful? Probably not. Ooh, it's a seahorse. Wait a second there, buddy. Well, I figured you'd be getting tired by now, so my brother and I are here to help. And you could use it, right? Long ago, those legendary long johns were soaked in the waters of these pots. If you drink the water they carry, it'll heal your wounds and fill your soul with fire. Assume the boss fight's coming up though if they decide to bring those along for us. Plus, we regenerate MP much faster than we use on some of these characters, so it doesn't matter. That, on the other hand, does. Darn it, I messed up. All's well are here. Everything is looking nice and frozen, it is. Think anyone will blame us for freezing the plant to the quick? Now I've been thinking, this whole fire otter nonsense is nothing but rot, were it not? I too rights, but you have nothing to worry your here head about. We'd be done with this here plant, matey. Try to set sail for new plants and find ourselves some more magic fing flingers on other spaceports. You there. What should we be doing here, eh? <laughs> Crazy Chris. Yar, I don't like the looks of ye. Let's take them like sharks in a frenzy. early.
Darn it. Just time that one too. Darn it. Eat rock. early again. Well, that's one hit. Miss. Mm. <sighs> I'm just it again. My timing's just been sucking, hasn't it? Most of this episode. Rainbow Shot times three. I sense great magic in you. You are no ordinary children. Look! On that machine, there's someone up there! Fascinating. Let's test how much power you possess. Pretty sure we can't win this fight, but I mean, I go all out. Can't afford to waste any of T800's attacks. Great.
This probably isn't going to be very effective. Darn it. Messed up my timing again. Too early. Too late. Well, I can do the smart thing, or I can keep attacking. <sighs> Finally. Too early again. Oh yeah, green frogs here. Barely got it in time. Finally. Sage hat. How amusing. I had no idea there were still magicians like you around. Hey, uh, Master Shard, who are all these? I mean, Captain, who be these lovers? Yar, that's why I meant to say yar. <sighs> Colors that brought these young magicians to us as a gift. Call the Rosette? So how you like the pr prezies, Mr. Master Chard? They are powerful beyond their years. They must be if they can do me so much harm. Ah, uh, music to my ears. So how about, can I be a pirate now? <sniffs> Captain? I am fine. I now you fully recover from my duel with Madeline. Men, we're pulling out. Freeze this place solid and pack your gear. Master Chard? Master Shard? I'll be a pirate now, right? Right? You keep dreaming there, fancy hat. Master Chard, you promised me. Master Chard? We're pirates. Pirates, yarg. And pirates don't have to keep their promises, fancy hat. You think you'd be pirate material? Ha! You'd dent your hat and be nothing but a bucket of tears your first minute on a ship.
You earn yourself the deep freeze. Silly putting the ice on any pirate pretenders around these parts. We the most yardful pirates in the big briny galaxy. <sighs> What's happening? It's so cold. This must be the work of the freezing machine we heard about. This is it, the freezing device. We'll have to shut off, but how? Once again, this robot has to step in and take care of business. You guys will want to take a step or two back. <laughs> Computer problems? Trying to tie us method there for a little bit. You got the Mystic Mouse. What's this? I haven't put device controls the machine. It could be useful. We should take it with us just in case. Uh oh. What? What? Oh, sorry. Hey, TR, exactly what did you do? This is great. Just great. I I think I broke it. It seems to be purging massive jets of ice now. How? Uh, what? So they're going to use those hot air balloons to get into space? How does that even work? You know what? Game logic. Moving on. Are you all right? Hang in there, kid. Hey, you guys did it, huh? Never thought you'd take down the pirates. A new legend has been born in this town. Thanks. Seriously, thanks. We owe you big time. Oh, hey, the doors over by the pier want to talk with you. Now that's warm, they're actually in a good mood. Man, that's a horrible name. Dick in Sun. Man. Just terrible. I would have hate to have been him growing up. Well, next time we'll talk with the dwarves, because we've been at this for over half an hour now. Until then, see ya.